My name's Crew Fury. I'm a mechanical engineer. I work for an automation company, and in my spare time, I fly airplanes. So this is a Progressive Airline C-Ray um, that I built back in 2014. It was a lot of fun, built it out of the garage. It took about a year and a half to build totally. I joke that my wife was building a baby and I was building a plane, so same time. She beat me to it though. So I uh, finished the, the plane a few months after we had the first baby. So that was fun. So I've been uh, flying around the last two years, three years or so, and having a blast. It's a daunting task when you look at kind of the entire scope work out in front of you. But when you break it down, you just do a page at a time in the manual, uh, knock stuff out in the evenings. I built the whole plane pretty much between the hours of 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., you know, bit by bit, and you just put the pieces together. The C-Ray goes together really well. It's mostly bolt together. Um, you know, it doesn't require a bunch of riveting or, you know, composite work or anything like that. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. One of the things when I built the plane that I wanted to do was have effectively an all-glass cockpit, um, and but I really wanted to be iPad-based, so a lot of the apps are great. Um, you got ADS-B, you got weather, you got engine monitoring, so what I did is I, um, I was looking for a way to, to mount my iPads. I didn't find anything, so I actually designed uh, and CNC'd a mount that allows me to pop the three iPads into it. So that's my screens, and then I have an eye level 3AW um, that does all the, so it does ADS-B in, so weather and traffic. Uh, it basically aggregates all the information from the Grand Rapids EIS 4000, so it pulls that in, and then it sends everything via Wi-Fi to the iPads. So then you have everything you need. You got, you have the weather, you got traffic, you got the map, App, you got ADSB. You have uh, your engine instruments, so it gives you everything that you would normally have on a more expensive glass panel for a fraction of the cost. It's a nice thing in in Orlando is because the C-Ray is built here. There's a lot of them, so I mean, you see them flying over all the time, and most of the time, I find people by, you know, I'll see one fly over, I see a paint scheme, and I text a buddy and say, "Hey, who's got, who's got that baby blue and silver plane?" That says, oh, okay, that's this guy. So I text him and you know connect. So now we have a nice little group of probably oh, five to seven uh, guys that we'll go flying with on the weekends and go lake hopping, fly to lunch. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, it's it's tough to find those little communities of, of uh, people who have same interests, but um, it's it's a lot of fun once you find a nice little group to fly with. So we have a good time. If you're interested in the C-Ray. I definitely encourage you to check it out. Um, the factory's located in Tavares. They give demo rides, they give flights. Um, if you see a C-Ray flying around Orlando, flag them down, they'll take you for a ride. Um, the panel, I love everything I got going on in the panel. It's very cool. Between the iPad, the Grand Rapids unit, uh, the iLevel 3AW, and the Trig, uh, the radio and transponder, they all work well together. Small, compact, lightweight, so perfect for experimental. Um, just keep everything as light as you can so you can have more fun. Let's go fly.